welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more work that are happy. Fourth of July. Happy every country's Independence Day. Ours was July 4th, 1969. <laughs> No, 1776. But seriously, guys, um, especially in today's environment, it's not a bad thing if you love your country. Being proud and appreciative of what your country has given you is, is nothing wrong with that. In like today's environment, like being uh, nationalistic is almost, they bring it out like you're a racist. But there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, and, on, uh, and in all honesty, being called a racist is, I don't know, one of the most watered down terminologies in the world now. It means nothing. People throw it out like fucking moon pies from a vending machine when they expire. But seriously, happy Independence Day for those who have already celebrated and also happy Independence Day for those who have not and will later this year. But today, July flipping forth. I think for America and uh, the national anthem, uh, one of the most iconic or one of the, well, there's not many lines, but a line that people normally know the lyrics to is, and the rocket's red glare is um, a thing we can really utilize in War Thunder. We have this F-86 and I've been trying to keep this on the down low for as long as possible, at least with you guys, with, with at least with me saying that this is one of my favorite ground strikers in the game, because I've been trying to get better with it. Uh, it's w once you have a little bit of skill and understanding how HVARs work, it's entirely devastating. So I'm just trying to find a right camo to use because this yellow just won't work for 4th of July. I'll be right back. Found a skin. If you guys want to download this, it'll be in the description below. This is called Sky Blazers. I think it fits 4th of July <laughs> really, really well. So pretty much today's video, we're going to be taking out the T95E1 just for a kill or two or, or until we get our F86 F2 Saber with the 16 HVARs. And then we're going to show you what we can really do today. So this round is extremely satisfying just extremely satisfying you really don't have to aim anywhere important let's say you see a t54 i honestly okay from my experience i don't even shoot ammo anymore i just shoot um to the right of the fuel tank and chances are the shrapnel from the armor piercing fin stabilized discarding please no atgms all right good does the the, the business because i don't know about you guys but that t54 has that stupid fuel tank there that for some reason eats more shrapnel than the leo's driver sometimes god i just got tired of shooting the t54 you know air quotes in the ammo rack but then the uh, fuel tank was just like some of the best armor that a t54 could ever have i mean i don't understand these fucking tank designers why not just cover your tank in optics and fuel tanks you would be much better off than uh, actually using rolled homogeneous armor or homogenous, however, however you want to say it. Got a tank to our left. Oh, fuck, it's cancer. Hopefully no one shoots me while I try to engage this cancer. I am the antidote. Let me kill you. Oh, look, you're... Okay, wait, 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 is this him? Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. That was that song. Da, 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 da. Look at that. Look at that fucking round. Isn't that insanity? Armor, armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding Sabo and the hash have just become fascinating to me. Okay, so we got 14 rounds left. I mean, like, should we just make this a whole? Ooh. We should probably capture um, Bravo, but I want some more. Ooh, this guy needs help, it looks like. Never mind. M103 just eradicated that T54. Now, I really want to kill some IS-6s with this. How many players are left? Okay, good. Still a really, really big game. Might be SU-6 up. Someone just tried to bomb the... Um... Oh, shit. Left side, back side. Got him in sight. <sighs> I 
love it. I love it. I love you. I love you so much. I love you, armor piercing, fin stabilized, fin stabilized, scarred, Saibo. <laughs> okay, we got another call out way downfield. Ooh, we got F84. Ooh, we got an ASU85. Uh, I'm going to overextend here because I want this kill. Stay right here. Should be pushing in, right? Oh, there he is. Just got shot. Don't know where from. Looking, looking. Got him in sight. T54. We're going to be reloaded before him. Ha -ha. See, guys, don't shoot for that ammo. Pull him back. Pull him back. We have a very strong turret. We got two. We got two. We got IS-6. He probably sees through this bush in front of me. Yep. That wasn't even a trap shot. The shell just exploded outside the fucking tank. Well, fuck him. I don't fucking care. It's time to go ham with these 16 HVARs. Ooh, we got a ZSU though. That guy's gonna be dangerous. That's gonna be our first priority. Hopefully this guy's not aiming at me. Cause I would like just to have full confidence going down. Okay, aiming with the left wing. Ooh, come on. Give me that one. He's not firing. Maybe he's reloading or hopefully he's damaged. I don't want to waste another strike on that because the, the ZSUs are kind of risky because you want to kill them, but you also don't want to waste too many rockets to where you can't kill other proper tanks in the, in the uh, match. Okay. The middle is clear. So far. Oh, tank here. IS-4. This will be risky. Got him. Good. Holy shit, how did you die? ZSU got that F6F. They're capturing A. Okay, this will be risky because the way we're flying in is going to be uh, right over the ZSU if we don't disengage quickly. And hopefully this enemy tanks right out in the open for us. IT1. Looks like an enemy yak. We might just go try to tap that real quick. Okay, let's try again for A. Oh man, there's so much stuff in their spawn right now. Check it out. And I might make a suicide run in there. There's just so many opportunities in there to get a kill. What if we fly right down to the deck? Oh shit, we're so dead, boys. No, no, don't go for me, little ZSU. Fuck. Up, down, around the bend. Hit. Our play. Okay, good, 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 good. We got one on him. Vampire, get him. Get him, Vampy. Oh, he might, he might have got him here. Don't worry, we'll, we'll be on cleanup run. There he goes. Well done, well done. Spawn is clear. Oh, shit. N never mind. Oh, there we go. Take those things down ASAP. There's a T-62 up. We can still get two more kills. The funny thing is, is that um, we just, I think we took 257 millimeter rounds to the core in this, uh, in this F2. But at the same time, that ZSU took a pretty close rocket from us. T-54, ATGMs, can't see crap. Is that him? Yeah, I see him. Uh, so welcome back. This is the same game. Um, but I decided to go and get some more rockets and bombs to finish off this enemy team. Oh, ZSU is up again. But overall, my opinion stand. Best ground attacker in the game. Is it a little bit too powerful? Maybe. But, um, yeah, that, that's it. It's so easy to get. You get three kills and you have a um, ground attacker that can end the game. I don't know how I feel about it, guys. Really don't. There's an enemy tank. Let's see if we can range him out far. Ah, just short on that one. Ooh. Oh, fuck. A PE-8. Got him critical. Pulling off from that 20 mil. Got him down. 
It just has the best ability to uh, kill planes and tanks. I just feel like when I jump into the F2, it's pretty much game over. I mean, sure, we don't have any of the cap points, but I've gotten three kills. Some of my team's gotten kills, and now we're in the ultimate garbage cleaner in War Thunder. Even if we don't kill 16 players, even eight, even uh, four. We kind of have, ooh, I thought I heard someone on my tail. We kind of have, someone is on my tail. Whoa, dude, you just hawked over my base? It's not cool. Let's show him a little F2 love here. I actually think he might kill himself. Okay, he did kill himself. And we have a MiG-9. Now, one of the biggest counters to the F2, other than fighters, come on camera, don't cancer me out. Oh, I waited way too long in that shot. It's okay though. One of the biggest counters other than fighters, in my opinion, well, okay, let, let's, let's say this. I get killed by high tier SPAA more than MiG-15s, MiG-17s, MiG-9s, any fighters in the game. And that's because normally they're smart. Now, there are some dumb S high tier SPAA players that will engage you at ridiculous ranges, miss all their shots, and then run out of ammo, then you're able to kill them. Uh, then there's the guy who does the same thing, but hits you and kills you. And then there's the cheeky breaky guy that sits in a corner, lets you get nice and comfortable over the airspace. And then when he knows he can kill you, he opens up. We got a T-10 in here. Let's go with the left wing. Beautiful. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We got two. I hear, I hear a plane. We got, we got good airspeed. Now, how I deal with the high tier SBAA is um, long range engagements. You have to. You can't get close to these guys at all. They'll eradicate you. Let's see if we can demonstrate that here. Don't have, okay, have him in sight now. We'll go with the right wing. We'll go to number three, pulling off right now. That might be a little bit short, but we had to pull off. Those rounds are coming right into us. Just short. We'll retry that one more strike. Altitude change, altitude change, and firing ready. Playing up, hit. To the grid now, there's another strategy that's much easier. I still need to practice on that long range anti-air killing. Is using the terrain to get as close as possible to them. Holy pilot, are you okay, dude? This guy's just bleeding out from like the cranium. He's like, dog, I'm with you, man. We're gonna clean up this game. We're gonna try the more riskier approach here. He's focused on the right guy, hopefully. And oh, we got a plane here. We'll take him out. Pull it off. Oh. I thought we could nick in there. They're so darn dangerous. We might have a re. Oh my gosh, yes. This guy's mine now. Distracted and dead. Good. Okay, now we have free reign again. We got to kill a lot. Ooh, shit. I don't think. I think we spent a little bit too much time on that ZSU that the enemies have now taken a pretty good control of the map. Oh, it's pretty clear in the middle. Hopefully they're not spawn camping. Oh, he's up again. He's up again. All right, he's not looking. Goodbye. Got to keep those ZSUs at bay. We got a ZSU 37. Don't underestimate those guys. For some reason, they hit. Oh, I thought I saw an anti-air over there. They are capturing B. We're going to pull around and hopefully engage that guy. Come on, guys. I was just talking about how once you enter this thing, you win. Okay, hopefully, this ZSU can't hit us. We got to go um, take the tank off B ASAP. We might not get there in time, though. I don't see him, I don't see him, I don't see him. There he is, he's blended in. Hit, fuck! If we would have gotten that kill, we would have reset B. We got two medium tanks, one is camping, the other one is trying to push for A. I don't see any opposition right now. That T-54 that captured B is dead.
They got a cap. Well, I guess I'll just use these rockets on anti-airs. We got one guy right here. Left wing, fire. This guy right here. There's no reason to be camping. There's no reason other than the KD. Got a T-54 in the middle. God damn it. Just goes against my word of saying, oh, well, when you spotted this thing, you win. Not the case in this game. This should be a hard kill, but we might be able to pull it off. Beautiful. Maybe it was kind of our fault, too, of um, concentrating on the ZSUs early. Not good, team. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> IS4M. Dies at ease. Oh, hello. Got a Yak 3 on our tail. He shouldn't really burst that far out. His 20 mils or 20... Well, yeah, I guess 20 mils are just going to die out. I tell you, it's the SBA that kills you. All right, good. We have free reign of the air now. Oh, wow. Clean up time again. Team, stop camping. Go out there and cap. Gain some RP. Left wing strike. Beautiful. Now, where was that T-62 at? Ooh. Oh, shit. We're really about to lose this. Is that him right there? That has to be a bot. I have no eyes on him at all. We can still win this, but nobody needs to die. It'd be nice if our teammates called out where they died at. Capturing B. Got it, got it, got it. If we don't get this rocket kill, we lose. Typhoon saves the day right there. It looked like we hit turret, but we we're just above. I bet if that uh, T-62 was a T-54 or a T-55, we hit that machine gun, he would have been dead. One more player left. I don't see him, guys. I don't see him at all. Sneakiest mamma jamma in the world. 24 seconds of fuel left. We're going to have to straighten out. Go RTB. Hopefully our buddy here can um, protect A. Again, if he even touches A, we lose. <gasps> we got him. We got him in sight. We got him in sight. We got him in sight. It looks like an anti-air. Maybe a tank with 50 cal. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. Let's move. Let's move. Typhoon probably has RP3s as well. How did this guy stay hidden so long? I have no idea, but it looks like he's trying to head for B to cap it. Get him, get him. Yes! And that's not the end of them, though. What a sneaky... Typical. IT1 just camping all game, getting pot shot kills. <laughs> now, if I was him, I would come in... I would come back into the game in a fast tank. Don't count him out yet. There he goes. There goes the spawn. He's already shooting, I think. He's moving too. We're on it. Far range. We have to try it. Beautiful. Just kidding. That's beautiful. Ooh, still spawn protection on, I think. Actually, no, we got a hit. I heard that impact him too. Come on, skills. Yes. No. Don't choke. No choking now. We still need some more rockets to engage the last guy. Once he responds again. Hmm. We've hit him two times in a row. IS-4. IS-4. We've killed these guys before. Beautiful. Finally. Okay. Six more rockets. Typhoon is RTB. Six rockets. Six rockets. That is a ZSU, boys. I don't think he's moved. We're going to pull off. 
We're gonna go for a high altitude engagement. We got this. We got this. Even though we fucking wasted so many rockets in that first guy. ZSUs are pretty squishy. Here we go. Wish us luck. The first rocket attempt was, I thought he was reversing. The second one was, uh, he was stationary. He could be in a plane? He is. He is in a plane. I-16, I-16. Okay, he will stall. There goes the stall. Pulling down air brakes. Everything we got. Time is on our... Oh, we, we, we only got a minute left. A minute left. If we fuck this up, we, we're fucked. Camera, help me out here. Good, good, good. We got a minute left in this game. No more plane spawns. No more spawns. Holy shiza. No more spawns. Nanya. 45 seconds. <gasps> yes. 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 35 seconds with the clutch hold in the F2. This might turn out to be a pretty long video, but uh, guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, the F2 is, uh, or just like, just really powerful close airstrike vehicles, in my opinion, need to be held higher in the game because they can really turn the tide of the game. It needs a little rework because I'm sure it gives a lot of tankers headaches when a plane like this has that much power and not that much SP. So, guys, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think about the uh, Sabre or just, yeah, just any Sabre, Japanese, German, American having this ability with such low SP. I've gotten into this thing at 686 one time on Mazdaq. So, just let that sink in. Anywho, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. Happy 4th of July for y'all in America and to the rest of the world. Hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday. And until next time... Have a great day. Peace out.